What's up guys, Pop Eagles back at the nest and welcome back to another Shadow Fight video. So in today's Shadow Fight 3 video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my new loadout. We're gonna be doing a side mission and an online duel. We'll see how that goes. So as for my loadout, I have a legendary helmet now called the Mind Protector. And so here are its stats, 756 power, 363 head defense, and 383 shadow attack. It also has the eruption shadow ability. Now we still have our thick placard, that's the same as last time. And then we now have our Fate Slicer, which is an epic glaive. Has an amazing shadow move that I'd love to share with you guys. Now, before we get started, we're just going to open one uh, card pack and see what we get in here. We'll slice it up a bunch. Alright, so we got a Naginata, Razor Edge, another glaive, Shadow Charge, so that'll level up our perk. Solid Band, and a Keen Katana. So nothing that I'm really going to use. I mean, the Shadow Charge is okay for leveling up the perk, but that is not important. So now, we're just going to do our side mission here as a warm-up. It's easy. However, it is win on timeout. And if you don't know what timeout is, <clears throat> that's literally just you have to wait for the timer to reach zero before you can win. See, as you can see, I'm dealing no damage to this guy. But... Uh, we can still beat him easy though, don't worry about it. So basically what we can do, your strategy here is just to uh, get a lot of critical hits on him if you can manage that. And then just kind of wait him out. Because it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how many times you hit him, all that matters is that you don't die. And that is a freaking cool shadow move. Okay, alright, I'll, I'll try to show you mine, alright? so. We'll just have to wait for him to stand up, and then we'll just stab him with our glaive. <laughs> and then we pull him out, and he goes and flops on the ground. So it's a pretty cool shadow move, I think. I love it. <laughs> and the best thing about it, it takes a bunch of time. So if they go into shadow form, you can just use that ability, and then they can't use their shadow form at all. You just steal it from them. So it's pretty amazing, in my opinion. Alright, so we won that easy. Got a compression suit, air screw leather cask and the bonus card which I'm not gonna do that alright now we're gonna open our free cards and we'll go into an online battle and we'll see how that turns out I'm actually kind of afraid of online battles right now because I've gotten my dual rating so high that everybody I face has like at least 200 extra power level on me so yeah that's not great alright let's uh let's start this duel we are at dual level 1995 right now, and we're going to be going up against Buttercup, who has 3,254 power, whereas I have 3,003. Now, the redeeming factor about my thing is that I do have more perk points than she does, meaning my perks are more leveled up. However, power level is still more prioritized, meaning that... If you have a higher power level, you are most likely going to win, unless you get absolutely wrecked, like Buttercup just did. So I just got a perfect on her. And, and you might think, well, this is going to be super easy. But uh, if she hits me, I get erased. That is the epic or maybe legendary katana that she's holding. So if I get hit, I'm gone with that katana. And this is pretty insane. Okay, I managed to dodge that displacement attack which is pretty good. It's the shadow move for the legendary or epic katanas. Basically, you just teleport behind somebody and stab them in the back like that, as you saw, which is kind of OP. And I don't like it because I don't have it. <laughs> if I had it, if I had that thing, I would use it all the time. But it looks like Buttercup's defense is not actually too strong. So uh, we're just going to teleport behind her and we're going to make an eruption. Hopefully this will get her. Nope, she managed to escape. I will do a quick one-two timer, or just <laughs> or just impale her with our glaive. I, I love that move. Kerchow. All right, so uh, guys, if you if you are liking this video or liking this series, leave a comment down below if you'd like me to make some more, and I will definitely make some more because this is fun for me. So now we got to 2014 dual rating. We're gonna open this silver chest right here. Well, it's called common chest, but you know, we're getting some steel sigh, composite mask, and compression suit, so really nothing that I use. Uh, we're gonna just start and unlock on another one. 
Oh, actually, right now we're gonna go to the store. So basically, in the store every every day, you have a free card for a free upgrade. So I just upgraded my rag, which I'm not gonna use, but like, you know what I mean. And then here you can buy stuff. So I'm saving up enough to buy a legendary armor piece because I need that extra armor. Now we're actually gonna do one more duel because I have a little bit more time. So let's get started. All right, so we've got I IK3R at 3,240 power level. We have me at 3,003 power level. All right, so he's got an epic armor piece and a rare helmet. I've got a legendary helmet and epic armor piece, so my rarities are better. His Naginata, I think, is also rare or, no, it's common. He's a common Naginata, so it's not gonna have a shadow ability. So this is definitely gonna work in my favor. So I actually ended up shocking him. He doesn't have his Naginata anymore. We're gonna do a quick little one-two with the glaive and charge up a power attack. Hit him in the stomach with that. Ow. Uh, that was a cool little ninja combo there. Alright, here we go. This could be the finishing move. If we get a critical, we did. We're gonna use our up attack just for that extra damage. And he's not gonna die. But I paid attention and finished him off. Now, sometimes that actually does happen where you think you've won. And then you look down again. And you haven't won. So just pay attention for that. Sometimes their health bar just kind of disappears. Now... Basically, as a general rule, I always start by backing up, just so I can see what attack my opponent will like to pull out first. It just gives you better spacing and better opportunity to uh, read and counter whatever your opponent puts forward. So, we're doing pretty good against this guy right now. Obviously, he doesn't have too great stuff. But, like, uh, if that move hits me, so that move is a special move called Air Screw, and that move is so good because basically what it does, your Naginata -Nag just spins around over and over again, and you can get so many head hits and criticals from that move, and basically at the level that I'm at, that would just kill me. But I managed to get a Shadow Move combo off on this guy, and we won the second round, so that's pretty awesome because I haven't really... uh. I haven't really had this much success in online duels since I made it up to the 2000 ranking. And guess what? We actually just got a rare chest that's pretty insane. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below if you'd like to see some more. It'd be super if you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And also, 